Hello and good morning, everyone. This is Papa Hector here with Papa Hector's podcast. So in today's topic, we're going to discuss the mystical path of Voodoo Sanse, the ATRs, the rarest form of the traditions. First off, before I get started, as per always, make sure you subscribe. We're available on Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Google Podcasts, where I'm also available on YouTube under Voodoo Hungan. Look up Hector, Hungan Hector, Papa Hector. We have our newsletter and HectorSalva.com. If you need my help, my services are located at GreatestSpells.net. And as per always, you can email us at help at mysticalwork.com or help at greaterspells.com. Okay, so first, what is the mystical path? This is the rarest form that you will find of any of the Voodoo, Sanse, 21 Divisions based traditions. First, what is Mysticism. Mysticism is the process of becoming united with God, becoming one with God. By becoming one with God, you become whole. And when you become whole, you release all your powers and your inner divinity. This is what makes the practice of Vodou Sanse. When I use the term Voodoo, I'm using it in a broad general sense but particularly the path of Sanse that I work with people and that I serve and develop. Our traditions are mystery traditions. We're focused on mysteries, the great mystery, and the mysteries that come forth from the great mysteries. So the mystical path is that of becoming aligned and realizing to make real your inner deity, okay? Within you lies the spark of divinity, the spark of God, the flame of God. And on the mystical path, when you're on the mystical path, you and the teacher, your mentor, your teacher, your godparent is leading you and guiding you towards making yourself realize, make real that deity, that divinity to make you divine to make you the king or queen you were meant to be. Unlike the magical path, which focuses on practicing magic, the mystical path focuses on becoming magic. So I'm going to say that to you again. The magical path practices magic. Now, that's what the voodoo forms, whether it's Sanse, Santeria, 21 Divisions, whatever you find, that's what you're going to find everyone practices. That's the magical path. They focus on doing magic, working magic. On the mystical path, we make you magic. You become the magic. And when you become the magic... Your life is magic. Things flow. You no longer work magic. You are the magic. Things flow forward from you because you are magic in and of itself. So, to give you a little bit of a setting or a background, on the mystical path, we realize, we know, actually, that... You and all men and women were originally gods. You were originally deities, gods on earth, and had divine powers. But the world and religions, traditions, societies have all worked at crushing that divinity and turning that light off. You have a piece of God within you. And therefore, that piece of God can be grown and fanned, fan the flames, and you can become. So, 
this is very different than religious voodoo. Okay? The majority of people that you find practicing, they practice religious voodoo. There's religious voodoo. There's mystical. Okay? In the mystical path, okay, we bring you, okay, and connect you to your inner deity, to your inner divine nature. And when you become connected to your inner divine nature, who you really are, and what you were really meant to be and do, what happens by extension is your life flows Peace flows, success flows, you become the magic. The reason you become the magic is very simple. It's because you release and grow, extend the power of that divinity within you. Anxieties are destroyed, depression destroyed. Confusion, destroyed. Lack of peace, destroyed. Gone, gone, gone. Love starts to flow in your life. Success. Obstacles cleared. Your paths open up and clear water flows before you. You no longer seek and seek and seek because you have. Peace flows forward from you. You are at peace, okay? And not only that, but you've developed the powers to be able to resolve issues as they arise and when they arise. And that's the power of the mystical path. Okay? The mystical path is the path of unfoldment. To unfold or unravel. It's unraveling. And the truth is that this is a very rare form, a very rare path, a very rare form, especially in these days, because it takes unraveling and unfoldment. And many of these deep teachings have been lost to most lineages other than mine. Many other lineages don't have this left. They don't have the mystical teachings. The majority of lineages don't have the mystical teachings. Okay? These mystical teachings come from my lineage in Sansi. And the majority of lineages and lines, they just don't exist. And so... They have many of the magical practices, healing practices, spiritual practices, all beautiful, well done. But they lack the mystical power. And the mystical power is by the mystical unravelment. And so many things have become lost due to this. So many people are out here lacking peace, lacking tranquility. They're anxious, they're nervous, they're depressed, they're blocked up. You can't find a way out. You're anxious, you're nervous, you're depressed. You're not happy. You don't have peace. You don't have tranquility. You're confused. You lack purpose. You lack energy. You lack direction. All of this, all of it, all of it is a result, is a simple result of not being filled with the divine light, not being filled with the power, okay? The light and the power. The light is the power. But it's through the mystical path And in order to engage the mystical path, you have to have, basically, a mystical master, a mystical teacher. 
your teacher, the person who's unraveling you, has to be a mystic. On the mystical path. And like I said, I've lived in Haiti. I lived in Haiti. That's why I speak full-on Creole. I lived in Haiti for many years. Okay? I've lived in Dominican Republic. I've traveled up and down the countries through Puerto Rico as well. I've met thousands of priests all over. And I can honestly say that in all the time, outside of the people in my own lineage, my own family lineage of Sanse, I've only actually met three other individuals who were mystics and had the mystical path of this work truly developed and it could be seen. Okay? That's how lost this information has become. And that's the work of the Spirit. That's the true great work. Many people think that the great work, as we call it in our spiritual work, la obra, the work, the great work, okay, is to do healings and do removals, etc., etc., spiritual removals and fix love problems and that's all beautiful and nice. We can do that. But the great work, okay, and many people will be, will need to so focus on the work on themselves, you won't be able to give the great work to the next guy. Few individuals will get to that point. But the true great work is to crack open, become connected and make real, make actual in your life, unraveled and fulfilled, the power of spirit, the power of your inner deity, and the power of the divine to truly manifest your divinity, to truly manifest your sacred power. And when you become manifesting of your divinity fully and completely. You have peace. You have power. You have resolution. You have solutions. You have flow. And that is the true great work. Okay? There are many other things that we can do that we have the sciences to do in our traditions, the magical part of the work, the healing part of the work has, has what it needs. And there's many great people to do that work out there. But the great work, the sacred work, is to realize and become the divinity, to become one with the great spirit and become one with the power. So, there are few and far between on this path of the voodoos. Because, like I said, I've lived and lived and lived all over places. And outside of my own lineage, I have found very few. So, it takes a mystic, a mystic, a voodoo mystic, a sanse mystic, a spiritual mystic to take you upon this journey of unravelment and unfoldment for you to become connected with your inner deity. And like I said, when that becomes a truth for you, when that becomes real, when that when that becomes real. Okay, that's what to realize means. It means to become real. Something becomes real. And your godhood becomes real. Anxiety disappears. Depression disappears. Etc. And the truth is, it doesn't even need to become real. 
all the way. The first step is cracking the seed. And we have the sciences. Okay? The spiritual science. To crack the seed of your inner deity. And begin to get that power and that light to grow and unravel. For you to become the totality of you, who you are. And who you are meant to be. Because... When you look in the mirror every day, what you should see there is a miracle, is happiness. I can show you a miracle very easily. Go look in the mirror and there you will see a miracle, a miracle standing before you. But it's very likely that for you, in this moment, in this time, you can't see that miracle standing before you. You're plagued by anxiety, by depression, by illness. Okay? By sickness, mental, emotional, physical. We've had people... Okay, recover from fibromyalgia, from cracking the seed of the light. Just cracking the seed of the inner divinity. I have people who have been cured of fibromyalgia. People who have had MS and not return. Had it go into remission and never to return again. Cancers disappear. Okay, am I claiming that we can do this? I'm not claiming it. I'm just telling you what has happened. Okay? Anxiety, schizophrenia, disappear, disappear, disappear. We have the science. Okay? The doctors don't have the science. That's the truth. Okay? Spirit has the science. Everything that you have comes forth from the spirit. And spirit has the power. It's spirit, God, who giveth and taketh. Okay? And to walk on the mystical path is to become one with that. It's to become one with God. And to become true to what Jesus said. My Father and I are one. God and I are one. In my lineage of Sanse is the only lineage that in over 20, I don't know what it is now, 20 some years, have I seen and have, do we have the secret rituals and ceremonies to transform men into gods? We transform men and women into gods and goddesses. We make the Father and them one. We make them and God one. And when you're one with God, you are a god or a goddess. And that's why Jesus became one and said that he was God. We have that science. Our traditions, our Sansa tradition, has a passing down of the light. And to have your light cracked open and activated, you have to have someone who has that light on and flowing. And right now, like I said, you might be staring in the mirror and you don't see that miracle. That miracle that's standing there looking at you. You're plagued with depression, 
this is uneasiness problems anxieties and issues you don't have love you're lonely whatever it is that's going on with you okay there is a cure there is a solution and that solution lies in the spirit and magic can fix for you magic can do many beautiful things but if you want to transform your life if you really want to become if you really want to change your life if you really want peace happiness progress magic alone can't do that for you okay the mystical path does that for you mystical sansa can do this for you unity with god transforming into a god becoming a god does this for you so that's what the mystical path okay Myst the mystical work is all about it's the great work the work of becoming one with god unity and through this bliss ecstasy peace power and happiness so i'm going to leave you with these last few things don't forget to sign up and subscribe to this on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Don't forget we're on YouTube, the blog, the newsletter. Number two is if you're interested in the mystical path, the first step is for us to have a consultation with the spirit so that we can see where you're at and how to get you started on this beautiful journey. Three, I leave you with this. What you seek is seeking you. So will you answer the call? Speak to you again next week. God bless you. Much love, luck, and faith. Papa Hector signing off. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.